Hello, this video is gonna talk about how to install Splunk Universal Forwarder to Windows Machine. As you can see, we already installed uh, Splunk into GCP Virtual Machine. It's a one virtual CPU, 4 gig RAM, and it's fully working Splunk installation. I installed in my previous video, you can check it out. So, but this video is going to be different. Next video, we're going to talk about how to install Universal Forwarder. Uh, first, you need to add the forward port into the Splunk. So, log into your Splunk web GUI and search Forwarder and then add a new forward port. I'm using the 9001 as a forwarding port. So, this port is going to be receiving uh, syslogs forwarded from Windows machines universal forwarder. So I'm using Telnet to verify the connection. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. That's the firewall needs to be open. So I open the TCP 9001 port here and allow the any source IP come in 9001 on the TCP. After that, we can try it again. Telnet 9001 port works. So we add the teleforward port into the Splunk. Now we can uh, paste the Splunk Universal Forwarder from my download folder into this Windows 10 VM. So you can Google Splunk Universal Forwarder for forwarder to from the internet, and then you can download it. There's the two version, 64-bit and 32-bit. So Windows 10 is 64-bit, so I'm going to show you how to install this universal forwarder. It's very straightforward, basically run the exe file and uh, put the all configuration. It's installed on a local system and choose which even log you want to forward it to the Splunk. Then creating a um, password for the user admin. This is the most important part. This will be your remote Splunk server's IP address. You can direct copy it and then port will be 9001 which is one you just created. Okay, next and then install. So uh, installing, okay, finish the installation. Now we can go back to Splunk server and search our logs. There's uh, 6,985 events. So first thing I tried to use the Windows to search. And then once I found our host name, you can define Windows host equal vm-windows10-1. That's my Windows 10 server, Windows 10 machine. And as you can see, we did get some logs coming. That's pretty much everything for how to install Windows uh, as from Windows Splunk Universal Forwarder. This video is going to show installation Splunk Universal Forwarder in Windows 7 32 bit. Um, I already downloaded the 32 bit file, which you can Google from the internet and find out it. Um, installation steps is the uh, same as a uh, Windows 64 bit installation, just a click double click the installation file and then next next choose the event logs and the performance monitoring and then put the password for that use at me and then next will be most important part which is your remote Splunk server's IP and the port we just, we just created 9001 once you get those things correctly into the system mostly will be fine to forward your Windows logs to the remote Splunk server.
installation usually only take um, 10 to 15 seconds. It's very light and small software. Use a little resources on your host machine, but then um, it can fall in all logs to the remote side. So installation completed, you can double check from the task manager service tab. You will see Splunk for water service is running. Also, you can verify from the services.msc. You can see there's one service installed in there. So here we can see we are using 32-bit Windows 7 machine and we can find out that Splunk forward, forward service which is automatically running and system reported. Uh, there's one thing also you want to check is under the program files Splunk Universal Forward folder uh, under the etc system and local there's some configuration files those config files has all the parameters we entered during the installation wizard process and you also can see the output of the, the machine name so based on that machine name you can put into Splunk search tab and then find out the logs coming from this machine which is h-j-w7-1 so now we can see we have all Windows system and uh, service logs so but uh, how we can analyze it then is a big problem so in this video I'm gonna give you a hint so we can search the apps from the Splunk and uh, then you can install as, I, as you can see here I already installed it you can install that event ID app and then it will automatically analyze or receive the Windows system logs and give you a nice dashboard I strongly recommend it. Check it out and uh, leave any feedback under the video. So here I can just show you what we can see from those received sys logs. Yeah, also the nice dashboard from eventid.net app. Thank you for watching.